definitely, I would say 2012 Nationals. Our run leading up to Nationals was amazing and then obviously the tournament went really well. So I definitely say that part on the field. Off the field, I'd say a highlight for me was Paraguay in 2009 because that was my first like ground shaking Spartan experience. So that was super cool too. Yeah, overall it's been amazing. I mean, I never thought coming to Trinity I'd travel to so many places. So every single year I've gone overseas somewhere, whether that's been a missions trip or a tournament, so it's been unbelievable. Once I graduate, um, I want to potentially still pursue soccer. If not, then I'll be job searching and uh, yeah. You know, there are players in programs that, um, you know, help elevate a program to the whole new level, maybe new realm. and. You know, we joked a little bit early on in, in Nat's career that, you know, we thought there was no chance, you know, a player uh, like Nat Boyd would maybe uh, come to a, a small school like that, us that not many people know about. And yet, uh, when Nat saw, I think, how serious we were about success and how awesome a culture this place was, um, you know, and finally made the decision to commit here, there were a lot of people um, celebrating because we knew we had added a special person to our program. Nat um, really personifies work ethic on the field. Uh, she has become a very complete player. Uh, early on she was the energizer bunny of our program and just worked tirelessly in midfield and we used to say, Nat, like I don't know many blades of grass that you haven't covered on our big field in those games, but uh, as she's matured, you know, she still does a ton of the work and a lot of running and dedicates herself to being ready and, and uh, willing to give everything on the field, yet she's also learned to bring out the best in other players or, you know, to play passes over different distances that have unlocked defenses. Uh, she's always given everything in every minute, even when she's had to play hurt or, you know, had to maybe go beyond what most players were capable of Nats uh, been able to produce it. Um, you know, I, I have a picture um, in my office of, of Nat scoring the winning goal against UVic in uh, last year's national championship semifinal. And, you know, it was such a wonderful moment because it was a great team goal. Um, but it was a great risking run from Nat that led her to get on the end of a cross from Jill and was able to score off a header. And, you know, that picture is kind of a, an image that I have of here's a kid that would be willing to do anything, scrap in tackles run 100 yards to defend, um, run 70 yards to get forward on the end of a cross and, and she really did give everything to her, uh, her teammates and to our program for our on-field success. I, I've enjoyed watching that grow uh, as a leader. Uh, I've enjoyed watching her grow in her faith. Um, you know, and those times haven't always been the easiest and she's had to learn through some hard times, but I think she's a better person because of those times and so you know, I would say Nat is one of those special players who has uh, helped shape not only who we currently are as a team, but really propelled us into being uh, a top, top program in North America for the future. Um, we're so grateful for everything she's given. I'll miss her immensely because she's been, uh, you know, a player in midfield that has just dictated how we've played. and so. Uh, we'll miss her but recognize how special she is and uh, celebrate her career.